So I found a new scene to paint. I'm gonna block it in now and I'm just gonna give you a bit of a advice on mixing the colors and blocking it in. <clears throat> so to start, so I've already sketched the picture out. I'm now gonna get the paints on the palette and make sure I use acrylic paint and not oil paint. The reason I'm using acrylic paint over the oil to block in is simply so that I can get it done quicker. Um, the acrylic paints will be dry within minutes of me finish, finishing the, the, the blocking in and then I'll be able to get straight on to finish it, finishing it in oil. Put out some white. The cerulean blue. Permanent green deep. Uh, I think I've said in the past that I've got a pretty limited palette with regard to the acrylic paints here so it doesn't really matter too much, just getting it roughly right, <clears throat> getting a base of colour on there so that I can get started with the oil. Black, bit of yellow. Also, I've got a real mishmash of, you know, uh, acrylics here as Winsor and Newton and whatever that one is, System 3. Dahlia and Rowney, but it doesn't really matter. None of them are particularly good quality, but we're just trying to cover the white, the white primer. So first things first, gonna do the sky. And I also, I mix a fair amount of water in with the acrylic as well, just to get it to run a bit easier. There's not a lot of color in the sky, so I'm just mixing predominantly white. Once again, a fair amount of water in that and just a touch of cerulean blue. And I'm just gonna, in fact, I need probably a bit more paint on that, a bit more white. There's not a great deal of color at all in the sky, so. Don't worry about it being uh, so thin that you can see some of the pencil lines through it, doesn't matter. You can always, always go over it again in a second. I mean, that'll be dry in a few minutes. So I'm just going to go over the whole thing. Going over a lot of the pencil lines as well. As you can see, you can still see through that. I mean, look, that's dry there already. I'll go straight back over that. In the photograph, there's uh, got a line of trees here, and I'm going to just put a hillside, a hint of a hillside, just behind those trees, just give it a bit more, a bit more interest. Okay, that's enough for the sky. Wash that brush out. Smaller brush now. bit of water, mix water in with the white that I've already put down, a little bit more of that cerulean, maybe a touch of that ivory black there, maybe that's just a hint of that green. I mean that's super watery but once again it doesn't, really doesn't matter. all I need for that and now we'll do that line of trees here so I'm just going to darken up on the colour that I've just put down still very wet still very watery and I'm going to add in fact I do need a touch if I can find it here dioxine purple mix a little bit of that oh it's probably a bit too much I'll tone it down just a little bit
brown just a touch. So what I'm trying to do is uh, block in in middle tones. Something like that. Okay, wash that brush out. Starting off at the furthest point and then pulling away, pulling, uh, pulling forward. So go a bit more white, still mixing it in with what was there. Add a little bit of yellow, a little bit of green. I'm going to do this field. as we come further forward. And a little bit less at the back. Something like that. Okay, now we've got this area here, which is obviously in the shade, so I'm just going to darken all this up. Okay, that's not that's not that close to the colour I need, but it really doesn't matter too much at this stage. Because if there's anything that is really far away colour-wise from what it should be, just go straight over the top of it with the acrylic, because it'll all be dry. Start mixing a new colour there. I just want the area under here to be a touch, just be a little bit darker. black acrylic there is really really watery anyway so it's difficult to get any real any real strength of colour with it so I will probably end up going over that again in a minute and just uh, under this tree here there's a, a light area can you see through? I'm just going to put some light shining on the bank or something I can't quite see at the moment, but just put that in. Right now, this area here is, is quite dark, so I'm just going to just I don't need any, any detail in it, so I was just going to get a bigger brush and get a bit more black. That awful black paint, which is so thin you can't co cover the panel. Trying to uh, get this blocking in stage done as quickly as possible. There's not a lot of point in taking your time over it. Not really. I mean, my color, these colours aren't terribly close at all. But it really doesn't matter too much because we're going to cover the whole thing over anyway. There's not going to be a. There's not going to be any of that acrylic showing. I'm 
Okay, so... Get this bit done. With this uh, lighter part of the water here, you can see the uh, riverbed below, so it's not a totally clean uh, reflection of the sky above. It's just kind of dirty looking. Okay, now for these reeds. Ugh, it's awful. It's not right at all. That's a bit better. So there we go. That's pretty much the blocking in, in stage done. Just gonna darken up on a few of the areas that um, haven't been covered properly with that rubbish, rubbish black paint, but give that another couple of minutes to dry and then I'll go over the top. So just dark up some of these areas here. I'm gonna use more brown than anything else. Just darken that up. Just neat, straight from the tube.
Yep, so there we go, that's the blocking stage finished. And that's taken all of about 20 minutes, maybe a little bit less. Um, it doesn't have to be very accurate. Color, it's not important that the colors are identical, you just need them as you know fairly close. Um, but bearing in mind that all of this is going to be covered over anyway with oil paint, um, so really it's there just to give you a guide. If you're just painting on a white panel and there are no other colors there, you've got nothing in relationship with the color you're trying to put on. Um, so it's, it's difficult to get the colors right. So I find having it blocked in, even if, as I say, the colors aren't exact, having it blocked in does help. 